God raised up an adversary to him, Rezan the son of Eliaga, who had fled from his lord, Hadadezer, the king of Zobah. He gathered men to himself and became captain over a troop when David killed them of Zobah. He went to Damascus and lived there and reigned in Damascus. He was an adversary to Israel all the days of Solomon, in addition to the mischief of Hadad. He abhorred Israel and reigned over Syria. Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, an Ephraimite of Zeradah, a servant of Solomon, whose mother's name was Zeruah, a widow, also lifted up his hand against the king. This was the reason why he lifted up his hand against the king. Solomon built Milo and repaired the breach of his father David's city. The man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor, and Solomon saw the young man that he was industrious, and he put him in charge of all the labor of the house of Joseph. At that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem, the prophet Ahijah the Shilonite found him on the way. Now Ahijah had clad himself with a new garment, and the two of them were alone in the field. Ahijah took the new garment that was on him and tore it in twelve pieces. He said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces, for Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give ten tribes to you. But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, because they have forsaken me and have worshipped Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, the god of Moab, and Milcom, the god of the children of Ammon. They have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in my eyes and to keep my statutes and my ordinances as David his father did. However, I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David my servant's sake, whom I chose, who kept my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and will give it to you, even ten tribes. I will give one tribe to his son, that David my servant may have a lamp always before me in Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen for myself to put my name there. I will take you, and you shall reign according to all that your soul desires, and shall be king over Israel. It shall be if you will listen to all that I command you, and will walk in my ways, and do that which is right in my eyes, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as David my servant did, that I will be with you, and will build you a sure house, as I built for David, and will give Israel to you. I will afflict the offspring of David for this, but not forever. Therefore Solomon sought to kill Jeroboam, but Jeroboam arose and fled into Egypt, to Shishak king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon and all that he did and his wisdom, aren't they written in the book of the Acts of Solomon? The time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was forty years. Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in his father David's city, and Rehoboam his son reigned in his place.